Welcome to Guns Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to look at a bump helmet from Lugu on Amazon. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today we're going to take a look at a bump helmet um, from a company that reached out to me called Lugu, I think is the way you pronounce it, I apologize if that's not correct, but it's L-O-O-G-U on Amazon. Again, I will have a link in the section below uh, in my Amazon store for you to find uh, this and other things. So uh, they reached out to me and asked, I've done videos about helmets and things before, so I'm very familiar with that uh, budget price bump helmet type uh, uh, product, and I wanted to take a look at this one. They reached out to me and I was like, okay, well, this, I've, I've ordered probably four or five different ones over time, trying to figure out uh, good quality, and I wanted to see what this one was about when they reached out. So this one comes in black, ACU, AOR, AOR2, A2, CPYT, green, MC, red, sand, and tan. So you'd have to go to Amazon to that link and kind of see what all those abbreviations are. I opted for the OD green, kind of hard. I love OD green, kind of hard to go wrong with it. Um, but they do have others. So the cool thing about this one that you get is um, this little, uh, we're going to open everything. I hadn't really, I've looked at the quality of it, but I hadn't really opened everything up. I wanted to do that on camera for you guys. So they do include one of these. So this is uh, like a neck gaiter kind of bacala, bacalava kind of thing going on. It's mostly a neck gaiter uh, is what it is. But again, an OD green. I assume the when you order, uh, they'll match the whatever color you get. But this one is, uh, these are kind of cool to have, uh, just kind of handy um, in your pocket, even if you're not going to wear it all the time. So it does come with that in the packaging for this. Uh, it comes with this uh, morale patch. This is PVC vinyl. I'm not a fan of the color. I get it. And most people uh, looking at this video may not be. So if I was them, if I had to make one recommendation, I try being as transparent as possible and uh, give you an honest review. Uh, I'm not a fan of the color of the patch. If it was just black and OD green, be perfect. Um, but there's that. Comes with a nice instruction little kit here, kind of telling you how to set everything up. And it comes in the cardboard box. You're going to get some extra pads. It does come with pads already installed, or at least mine did. So you see that it has nice padding front, back, and this front sweat guard. Um, so I can kind of tell the quality of a helmet, uh, even the cheaper, you know, air softy kind of stuff um, by the quality of a few things. One is the quality of the pads. These are nice. Um, these are like a foam rubber. So let me pull one out and show you. So it's kind of hard to explain. They are not, um, they're not going to absorb sweat. This is kind of, um, I don't know how to explain that material, but then it has a denser foam and then of course the Velcro tabs uh, to put it in place. The sweat guard itself, uh, it is going to absorb some sweat uh, because of the design of it, but it feels nice and smooth. Um, think uh, a very fine terry cloth kind of feel, but it's definitely uh, nice and soft. Same thing with the back here, uh, front and rear. They come in different sizes. I opted for the extra large and it's got an adjuster, a wheel adjuster. Now one thing again, I can tell by the quality of these helmets if how the wheel adjuster reacts on my head. Uh, this one actually kind of locks in place. So a lot of them you can tighten it down and it won't lock. This one seems to lock pretty good in place. Um, and um, stay put. So also I can tell by the chin guard is how's it gonna feel against my skin. This is kind of a leathery type vinyl um, material that's gonna go against your chin area. Nice uh, positive lockup there. And a uh, few other things I notice about this helmet compared to others, it's got a very nice matte finish to it. Uh, it's not shiny whatsoever. It's definitely a matte finish, which I like. And then it's got the matching corresponding Velcro that you need for your morale patches and um, our uh, patches or whatever you want to put on it. Uh, got a spot for your NVGs. This does work. I've tried it with my NVG. Also has the bungee cords to uh, be able to stabilize uh, your um, 
NVGs. So another thing I look at for quality again, because I've had some of these helmets that I've tested in the past, these are pretty chintzy. Uh, these seem very good quality and uh, heavy duty. So you got those. Again, you got extra padding here. Let's go ahead and take all that out. Now these are a little thicker. So let me show you what I mean. So let's take this back one out, for instance. And I'm going to show you the difference in the thickness. So if you look, this one's thin, this one's pretty thick. So I like the idea that you can kind of custom fit this with pads. So if you wanted to order one maybe a little larger than you would normally wear, you've got a safeguard here with the thicker padding and then you could be, maybe you're sharing this with a friend or a wife or somebody, you can kind of change around the pads based on your head size or you know if you're again letting your kid use it or something or whatever. So I do like that fact uh, that it does have the um, extra padding that's a little thicker actually so that's pretty cool I've never seen one do that uh, I've never had uh, at all these helmets I've tested this one uh, does has that so uh, again it's got the uh, instruction it also tells you how to mount if you're going to use a headset uh, on here and it's got a warranty here um, Let's see if I, so it's got a five year from date of purchase against uh, material defects or whatever. So that's, that's cool. I've never seen, I don't know that any of my cheap ones I've ever bought had a warranty either. So another good plus. So let's take this out. So it comes with some accessories. So another thing I can tell you on these accessories, um, that's uh, again a telltale sign of the quality. This one's pretty decent in the fact that this is kind of a, um, nylon or reinforced nylon it's not just a kind of a standard old cheap plastic uh, so i do like that that it uh, seems to be pretty good quality and i look at how it, the positive lockup is uh, once you get it on your rail and this one locks up nice so overall i'm pretty impressed with this uh, setup here uh, one thing that they didn't did send that you have to buy extra um, is they also offer the camo netting or, or kind of camo covers so let me take a look uh, let me see what that is so that is price separate so the price on this um, is $9.99 I, I opted for the woodland green uh, we're gonna open it up and take a look um, and see what it looks like um, I think I mentioned this before, uh, the current price on the helmet is $46.99. Uh, it is discounted right now, but they also have a 5% coupon on top of that that's stackable uh, onto the current discount. And again, that's an Amazon Prime price that I currently have. Again, your price may vary, or when you watch the video, that price could vary up or down. So let's take a look at this. Um, I've never used the camo covers. I always thought they were kind of cool though, um, if you wanted to use those. So let's take a look what this is about. All right, so it's got a bungee like this that you can use to put it on. So I'm gonna just, while I got it here, we'll see how, I'm not probably gonna get too crazy with detail putting this thing on, but kind of give you an idea of what it's about. So I would probably put it around there somewhere. And it also comes with zip ties. We'll talk about that here in a second. Let's see here. If I'm off camera, I'm sorry guys, but I'm just trying to kind of set this thing in my lap here. And um, my wingman is down here helping me. My cameraman say hello, son. Hi guys. So he's always assisting. But it's, yeah, it's got the bungee that's adjustable, that kind of thing, kind of put it on. And then you have these leafs that kind of gives it more um, pattern, uh, less of a silhouette. So you've got these that come with it and the little zip ties. Uh, again, if I'm being critical of stuff, uh, I wish these um, zip ties were black. So uh, if the company is listening, um, but you can zip tie these on like this in different areas so they kind of stand up and break up the silhouette of the head shape uh, like a helmet or you know human head. So it does have these extra pieces here that can be added um, on here uh, with this zip tie type situation. 
and you know you can zip tie it where it stands up like that so yeah that's pretty cool 10 bucks get you extra camo head cover there and uh that's uh, pretty neat so anyway guys i think overall i do like the quality of it and i think that for the money it's one of the better ones i've seen again i've tried a bunch of different ones um the last one i got um i like this one better so the quality of this one is nice uh, it seems very rigid but not overly rigid so it will give you nice bump protection uh, again these are not ballistics uh, at all but uh, even uh, the military uses on occasion uh, helmets that are not ballistic rated depends on their application of the job they're doing at the time but uh, bump helmet right so everybody could use one um, i say all preppers need a bump helmet at a minimum if you're not going to have a full ballistic helmet and uh, the reason i say that even for something we just uh in my area we went through a bunch of storms with the hurricane and then the tornado warnings and stuff like that so I like having bump helmets available for my family uh, to be able to put on in case of those type of emergencies. If I need to go out in the yard to secure something, I can throw the helmet on without worrying about a limb falling and hitting me on the head. Or if a tornado, you know, we do have a tornado coming through and you got to hunker down, uh, a helmet may protect your head and um, keep you from getting a head injury because head injuries are the worst as far as um, uh, doing the most damage uh, to most humans so get yourself a nice quality bump helmet I do think this one would be a good fit for that and uh, again I will have a link in my section below there um, in the pinned comments to get to the Amazon store where I will have all this listed but anyway guys appreciate you tuning in if you've got any experience with this particular brand and again I apologize for if I'm not pronouncing it right but L-O-O-G-U uh, be sure to tell us about your experience with it and again, I want to thank the folks over there for sending this out for review. As always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.